Charles, first Marquis and second Earl Cornwallis. Now, one of the secret clauses of the peace terms at Yorktown was that 240 years later, I should recommend Mr. Washington's favorite foods, which as I recall, consisted of mashed sweet potato, green string beans with almonds, and steak and kidney pie. And for dessert, Mr. Washington gave us, would you believe, his favorite breakfast food, whole cakes with melted butter and honey. I wish he'd given me his wife's famous whiskey cake instead. However, let us now fall to our repast in the dining room. Hey everybody, this is Marty Mangiello with another episode of Inside the President's Cabinet. And here at the Presidential Culinary Museum, we are super honored to have uh, General Cornwallis with us and uh, take a look at some of the Washington China today. Today we have two sets of China from uh, the Washingtons and they owned many, many different sets. Uh, of course, in New York for the capital of the United States and when they're living in the Philadelphia. So uh, quite interesting to see little hodgepodges, pieces of three of this and six of that. Their collection is so extensive, um, it really takes a lot of record taking to go through. And uh, this one here is actually a plain plate, President Washington's plain plate with a rather demure gold rim. I know people look at it and they say, gosh, is that boring? This one here was actually a gift uh, in 1796 from Mr. Andrea von Hoekgeist of the East India Trading Company. And uh, viewers will quickly notice, um, for you out there taking a look at the states, there's 15 now in 1796. And so uh, take this one here, General, the Kentucky. This was often a term referring to the wilderness, really, and people doing genealogical research these days will see the word Kentucky, um, but they're referring to the wilderness, not the state yet. Nobody would ever want to live there. Yes. And uh, then now it is a state in 1796 encased in the chain. And you will notice in Latin down here um, a great... Uh, saying, this is a glory and the defense of it. Deus et tutamen abio. And this actually, this actually comes from the uh, Aeneid by Virgil. Ah. So. Arma ruanque cano, qui primus. Good of General Washington, I speak of arms and the man. Absolutely. So it's uh, amazing to see things like this showing up and then this China being used. And many modern folks today find it distasteful or they have mentioned, uh, you know, I really don't like the serpent or the snake biting its own tail, the showing of the snake. But really the snake was quite popular during this period. It's not essentially, I would say, like during modern times, people find the showcasing of the snake to be disgusting, or um, if uh, we're going to have a serpent on my china, I don't think so. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, the MW in 24 karat gold here is for Martha Washington. When this showed up from the ship Louisa on April 24th, 1796, um, the cases were marked on the docks of Philadelphia, a gift for Mrs. Washington. And of course, this was all delivered, and they're opening it up and wondering, like, what is all, who is this gift? This guy had all this made. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do often laugh about China and the word China um, in the... English Oxford Dictionary, they actually asked, what should we call this new rock, kaolinite, mm -hmm. that they're melting and pouring into the circles? Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's, it's fantastic, you can eat off of it, it, it turns rock hard, mm -hmm. we can glaze it. And one of the other gentlemen at the dictionary company said, well, what if we just were to call it China, where it's from, where it was discovered? Put it on the sea. Mm -hmm. So it becomes China, and we don't realize what we're saying today when, oh, do you have any nice China we could serve on? Um, where this word comes from. 
And it is fun to see uh, the fact that we're going to give you the recipe for beef and kidney pie. This is a very popular pie. It'll be on InsideThePresidentsCabinet.com. So please, uh, anytime you want to go on there and download it, uh, this is a favorite recipe of the Washingtons, and it's available for you. But I still want some of Mrs. Washington's famous whiskey cake, please. Oh. Thank you guys so much for joining us for another episode of Inside the President's Cabinet here at the United States Presidential Culinary Museum. See you next time.